So ladies and gentlemen, today on Sports Files, we're going to take a, a controversial look at a former Montreal Canadian, former longtime WHA. Uh, there are two trains of thought here. Some people believe he should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame, while other people believe he just rolled on the coattails of a number of great Montreal dynasty teams of the 1950s and 1960s. Of course, we're going to talk about the very skilled and very talented player and coach, Ralph Gerald Backstrom. Now, uh, Ralph Backstrom, uh, born September 18, 1937, uh, played for a number of pro teams in the NHL, winning uh, a half dozen or cups or so with the Montreal Canadiens. He also skated with the LA Kings and Chicago Blackhawks of the NHL. But uh, he became probably one of the biggest uh, name gets in the WHA, playing with the Chicago Cougars, Denver Spurs, Ottawa Civics, and New England Whalers over a number of seasons. He was uh, one of the top uh, points and playoff producers in the WHA, again, for his uh, five years there, <coughs> and ended up with uh, uh, close to 400 uh, pro goals in the NHL WHA play and uh, in the playoffs, and also was part of Team Canada's Summit Series uh, uh, squad in 1974 when he was one of the top players with eight points, including four goals in the eight-game series. Now, Ralph Backstrom first came to prominence when he was playing junior hockey with the Montreal Junior Canadiens from 1954 to 1956 and the Ottawa Junior Canadiens from 56 to 58. Uh, he was the captain of the team that won the uh, George Richardson Memorial Trophy in 1957 and the Mobile Cup in 1958. Uh, when he turned pro, Backstrom joined the Montreal Canadiens for the 58-59 season and was selected the uh, league's top rookie, receiving the Calder Trophy. Now, he played in Montreal for 12 full seasons, uh, winning six Stanley Cups and appearing in six NHL All-Star games. Uh, the All-Star appearances were in 58, 59, 60, 62, 65, and 67. Now, after the 69-70 uh, the season, Backstrom requested a trade and talked about retiring because he was fed up with uh, what he felt was a lack of pay with the Montreal Canadiens. He reported to training camp but left the team just before the season opened. After returning to the Canadiens, he spent most of the time in his ben on the bench until being traded to the LA Kings in January of 1971 because Montreal would make a lot of trades with uh, the Kings at the time. Also, Rogie Vashon was uh, sent over as well. Now, just over two years later, he was traded to the Chicago Blackhawks for uh, Dan uh, Baloney Maloney and finished the 73 season there. And this is where uh, Backstrom uh, uh, career took a weird turn. He jumped to the WHA and joined the Chicago Cougars the next year, where he played two years and later became a part owner of the team. In the first season, he led the Cougars in scoring with 33 goals and 83 points in 70 games. And again, like you said, he represents uh, Canada in the Summit Series. Now, his defensive production dipped uh, sharply in the 1975 season. And in the season, the Denver Spurs, uh, a rookie franchise, selected Backstrom in the league uh, expansion draft. Uh, Backstrom uh, became the team's top scorer, but the franchise eventually struggled and a move to Ottawa, where the team was renamed the Civic, did not help. Uh, the franchise seized operations 41 games in the season. He then finished his year with the Whalers, scoring 35 goals and 83 points over the year. Uh, he played one more year in New England and retired in 77. Uh, he would have turned 40 for the start of the season. And um, during his career, which is very when this is the argument comes in for him making the, uh, the Hall of Fame, he had seven 20 goal seasons in the NHL and two 30 goal seasons in the WHA. Now, immediately after the retirement, he stepped in an offer to join the staff of the newly appointed uh, Denver uh, head coach, Marvel Johnson, as an assistant. Uh, two years later, Backstrom returned the NHL assistant for LA Kings, but stayed uh, for only one season before rejoining Denver, this time as a bench boss after Johnson left to pursue opportunities in NHL. Backstrom led the Pioneers to a few uh, lean years in the early 1980s, uh, before having a breakout season uh, in the NCAA in 85-86. When he, held, when he led Denver to the still team record of 31 seasons, including a conference regular season title, a conference tournament title, 
in a trial, frozen fear for a year. He was very successful again with Denver, and he resigned after the 89-90 season, turning the team over to Frank uh, Territory. Now, Bastrom was already uh, involved back in the pros. He jumped back in the professional ranks, actually, in 91 when he took over the Phoenix Roadrunners. After a good first season, including uh, um, he made it to the Turner Cup semifinals, but uh, the next season dropped the dead last in the uh, 10-team league and Bastrom was dropped as coach. Now, um, he was also part of, now this is a, a, a hidden stuff we don't talk about, but uh, he, along with Dennis Murphy and Larry King, founded Roller Hockey International and served as commissioner for a time. And uh, although the team got in financial trouble and only played one year, it was a great experiment we still uh, talked about. Now, in 1999-2000, uh, he returned to the NHL as a scout for the Blues. And after three seasons with the Blues, uh, Baxter founded a new CHL team called the Colorado Eagles. In addition to owning the team, he served as GM president of the squad for its first three seasons, including the league title in 2005. Uh, with Backstrom as owner, the Eagles finished the top of their division six times, made the finals five times, and he won the Ray Myron President's Cup twice in eight seasons before making move to the ECHL in 2011-2012. Now, Backstrom uh, is what you call a, a renaissance uh, uh, man, because his background was uh, Scandinavian, but he was also uh, uh, his extended family very well read, a lot of uh, a lot of degrees, a lot of intelligence in the immediate family. Uh, but why people think he should be in the Hall of Fame? Because a number of reasons. Excellent as a coach, he helped rebuild the WHA after that really tough uh, 72, 72, 73 season where a lot of people felt it was just Bobby Hall. But when Baxter went to WHA, like Paul Anderson, like Frank Mahalovic, uh, like uh, Gordie Howe eventually, uh, in the middle years of the WHA, it gave more resonance to the fans of the original six. Now, why I think Baxter should be a Hall of Fame, not only as a player, but as a builder. And this is kind of ironic. He may not have enough in, uh, stuff together to make it as a player, but as a builder, in my opinion, Ralph Baxter has given... This got to be at least seven decades for the sport, and that alone should be recognized by the Hall of Fame. But do you put him in as a builder? Do you put him in as a WHA, uh, what do you call strengthener? Do you put him in as a, a consistent player who basically uh, solidified a Montreal team where he was a third-line third, uh, third line player? Uh, that's not for me to decide. That's for the media to decide. But you got to understand, when you put all the years into sports like he, like he has, He's got the recognition. Now, it's uh, like I said, he deserves to be there for a lot of people, and uh, the uh, uh, the veterans committee should look at Baxter down the road as a possibility. Maybe uh, once the COVID situation, when people can really sit down, it's almost like comparable to uh, Lou Whitaker and Alan Trammell being bypassed. For all the same with the Veterans Committee, Major League Baseball does a good, uh, a good level with that. Ralph Baxter has been kind of forgotten for by a lot of people. But my dad always said, my dear departed father, he said, what about Ralph Baxter? And this podcast is to help people understand how Ralph Baxter has given so much to hockey and he's never been really recognized for it. I think the Hockey Hall of Fame should take a, take a good look uh, that he should be there. Because he most borderline players like Backstrom do not become borderline when they, they are a successful coach like he has and builder and owner and president as, as he has. So, so it is COVID Wednesday. We uh, tell everybody to stay safe. Uh, if you like uh, my podcast, please give me a, a like, subscribe, or uh, tell your friends. We really appreciate everybody uh, checking it out. We're going to be passing 78,000 hits very soon. And <laughs> Listener and person is taking their time to uh, listen to my podcast. I really appreciate it. Check out my archive. There's almost 500 podcasts over the last year and a half of different categories. Uh, more than just sports and TV and movies. Whole, a whole bunch of stuff. So, have a good day. Stay safe.